Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to find how much of the excess reactant remains. And we're going to, we're going to do this by working through this example right here. This example says, take this following reaction. In this experiment, 3.25 grams of NH3 are allowed to react with 3.5 grams of O2. How much of the excess reactant remains after the reaction? So we're trying to figure out how much of the excess reactant remains. To do this, we're first going to have we first need to write out the balanced chemical reaction. So we have NH3 plus O2 forms NO plus H2O and then balancing this we get 4 in front of the NH3, 5 in front of the O2, 4 in front of the NO, and then 6 in front of the H2O. If you're having trouble balancing chemical reactions, just take a look at a video, balancing chemical reaction video, where I go into detail in terms of the step-by-step -step how to do this. Once we have the balanced chemical reaction, we need to first determine which of these reactants are limiting. So we have two reactants, NH3 and then O2. And to do that, I'm going to convert both of them into grams first. So I have 3.25 grams of NH3, and to convert into convert into moles, I divide by the molar mass. So dividing by the molar mass of NH3 is 17.031, and that gives me 0 0.19 moles of NH3. I do the same thing for O2. I have 3.5 grams of O2 divided by its molar mass, which is roughly about 32, and then that gives me 0 0.109 moles of O2. Then the next thing is you take the moles and you divide it by its coefficient. So we're going to take the moles of NH3 divided by the coefficient of NH3, which is 4. And then when I do that, I get 0 0.0477 for NH3. And then for O2, I'm going to divide it by 5 because that's the coefficient from the O2. And then when I do that, I get 0 0.0219. Then what you do is you compare these two, these two numbers right here and see which number is smaller. And the smaller one is going to be your limiting reagent. So because the O2 is smaller, that means O2 is limiting. So that means all the O2 is going to be used up, and it means that there's going to be some NH3 left over, which means NH3 is an excess. Now, to figure out how much is left over, we're going to have to do a gram-to-gram -gram conversion. We're going to have to take the grams of the limiting, which is the grams of the O2, and then convert it to grams of the NH3. So doing a gram-to-gram -gram conversion, we have 3.5 grams of O2 times converted to moles by dividing by molar mass, so one mole of O2 up top, um, 32 grams of O2 on the bottom, so that way your grams of O2 cancels out then convert it to moles of <clears throat> NH3. So we have to look at the ratio. We have 4 moles of NH3 over 5 moles of O2. And again, I got these numbers by looking at the coefficients in front of the, ba the balanced chemical re equation. Then the, the moles of O2 cancel each other out. Then I convert it back into grams of NH3 by multiplying by the molar mass, which is 17.031 grams of NH3 over 1 mole of NH3. Doing that, I'm left with NH grams of NH3, which is going to be 1.49 grams of NH3. This number is the amount of NH3 that it that is consumed when it reacted with 3.5 grams of O2. So this is the amount of NH3 consumed. That means to find the amount of NH3 that's left over, we're going to take the original amount of NH3, which is 3.25 grams, and then we're going to subtract it by the amount that was consumed, which is 1.49 grams, And that's going to leave us with 1.759 grams of NH3 in excess. That's how much is left over. 
Just a quick recap of what we did right here. We first started by writing out the chemical, the balanced chemical equation. Then we figured out of these two reactant, which one's limiting, and we did that by converting each of them into moles and then dividing by its coefficient, and the smaller one was limiting. Then we took the limiting reagent and we did a gram to gram stoichiometry conversion to get it into the grams of the excess reagent that was consumed. And lastly, we took the starting amount of the excess reagent minus the amount that was consumed, and then that left us with how much of the excess left over. Hopefully that helped and made a lot of sense. And if, you, if, if it did, like the video, subscribe, because throughout this entire semester, I'll be posting up tons and tons of videos that's going to help you ace this class, do better in chemistry, and conquer chemistry. And if you like my tutoring style and you're interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. And I'm going to include a description in, I mean, I'm going to include a link in the description below so that you can just click on it and it'll take you directly to the website to make it easier. Keep practicing, and I'll see you next time.